Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us for our webinar today, TechSoup Tour, How to Access Donations, Discounts, and Services. So before we get started, I just want to go over a few housekeeping items. So all callers will be muted. If you have questions, you should see a Q&A box at the bottom of your screen. Uh, we also have a chat box that you can use, but for your questions, please use the, uh, the Q&A box that you see there. If you lose your internet connection, um, you can reconnect using the link that was emailed to you. If you have to drop off early or if you want to watch the webinar again, we'll be hosting the webinar on our website at techsoup.org slash community slash events dash webinars. We'll also be sending an email with the presentation, the recording, and any relevant links once the webinar is over. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and make quick introductions. So today we have with us Stephen Davison. So he's going to be helping on the back end with chat. And he is the marketing um, assistant at TechSoup. And my name is Seema Tucker, and I'm the senior manager of content here at TechSoup. Um, I'm a mission-driven marketer with over 17 years of marketing experience, helping both small and large organizations create brand awareness and grow their impact through digital marketing. And now I'm going to pass it off to Nicole. Hi there, I'm Nicole Jones. I've been with TechSoup for just about the last year, producing content and events for our nonprofit community, and I'm super happy to be here with all of you today. I'll pass the baton on over to Bailey. Hi everyone, my name is Bailey Maples, and I'm a program manager at TechSoup. Um, I work with our strategic partners to identify and create mutually beneficial initiatives to improve how civil society can use technology to tackle social problems. And I will be handing it off now to Shruti. Good morning, everybody. Thank you guys for joining. Uh, my name is um, Shruti Ramaswamy. I'm a Director of Corporate Relationships here at TechSoup. And I'm happy to help answer questions about our donation and discount programs, as well as a lot of the services and courses that we offer. My primary focus is on helping make sure that um, nonprofits are able to access and um, leverage the suite of offers that we have, um, particularly regarding Microsoft Technologies. All right, so thank you everyone for introducing yourself. So um, I'm going to go ahead and just tell you guys a little bit about TechSoup. So we are located in 236 countries and territories. We serve over 1.1 million nonprofits around the world. Uh, we partner with several technology organizations that you see here like Google, Dell, Microsoft, and several others to help make our mission possible. Uh, if you're interested in finding out if your organization is eligible, you can go to um, techsoup.org slash getproductdonations uh, to see our offerings and, and also to find out about your eligibility. So I am going to pass it off to Nicole now, and she's going to be telling us about today's agenda. Thanks, Dima. So we're going to give you an overview of the transformative technology products, knowledge, services, and other really great offerings from TechSoup. So this will, this will include just-in-time COVID-related offerings and resources to get nonprofits the information and tools they need during this turbulent time. And we'll also cover our tech marketplace, where you can find donated and discounted products that will make you better, stronger, faster, and powered up to transform the world. We'll also share about the range of services TechSoup offers to help your nonprofit better implement and manage technology, from emergency tech support to strategic planning and fully managed IT services. Our offerings are designed to meet the needs of all types of organizations. And we'll also talk a little bit about TechSoup courses, our learning content designed specifically for staff at nonprofit organizations. Feel free to ask questions at any point, and we'll answer them throughout today's tour and at the end as well. All right. So there's one thing that I actually forgot to do, and we have almost uh, 250 people on today's call, which is awesome. Um, I wanted to ask everyone to take a second. I want to make sure you guys can hear us loud and clear. So there is the audience chat box that you should see um, at the bottom of your screen. If you don't mind taking a second and just telling me where you're calling in from, and I can read a few of them out. All right, so we have uh, Lisa from New Jersey. I can see Michelle, she can hear me well. All right, we have uh, Alice from Lombard. 
there's a lot coming in. Okay, so you guys can hear me okay. Perfect. All right, we have people calling in from all over, which is, which is great. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with today's presentation. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, <clears throat> so first off, I just want to thank everyone um, again for joining us today. We're so happy to have you here. We know it's a challenging time for everyone, and we're hopeful that TechSoup can do our part in helping you carry out your mission. Uh, so for all of us, obviously, COVID is on our mind. It's an unprecedented time, and we want to ensure that our nonprofits have access to the resources that they need during the pandemic. Um, even here at TechSoup, we have a designated COVID task force team that's helping us to navigate changes as they come in so that decisions can be made soundly. Um, also, many of you are you know, likely unexpectedly working remotely and probably with very little time to prepare for the sudden shift. Uh, we want to make sure that you feel supported throughout the process, which is why we created the COVID-19 resources page. We pulled together uh, relevant tools in addition to other assets that we think will be beneficial um, to your nonprofit. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> so I'm going to quickly um, share my screen here. I want to show you what's available to your nonprofit before we do the actual formal uh, tour. So. Give me just one second to share my screen. So I think there's about a 15 second lag, but hopefully you guys will see it here in a second. Okay. So I think, uh, Nicole, can, can you see if everyone can see my screen? I can't see the chat box while I'm sharing. Not quite yet. I'm still seeing slides. Okay. Um, maybe I'll give it a few more seconds. Let's see. All right. It should oh. show up here in a couple of seconds. Yeah, so it's loading. And there it's it is. Loading. Okay. okay, perfect. Looks awesome. good. Great. So, okay, so I won't go into all the details here, um, but I at least wanted to give you an overview of what's available to your nonprofit during this time. Um, please note, uh, we do have a specific webinar dedicated to COVID, and my colleague, Stephen, he'll be sending out a link in the chat box if you want to watch that webinar after this, but I at least wanted to show you um, this page and sort of what we have available here. So um, here at the top, you can see we have all of our resources segmented, and you can just click on any of these URLs to get to the section that you need. Um, at the top here, we have various tools that will support your organization for working remotely. Um, this includes Microsoft, Gmail, Zoom, which I know has become really popular for many of our nonprofits. Um, so you can just kind of scroll, you know, scroll through here and see what segment is, is um, available. So we have communication, collaboration, uh, cloud file storage, remote access tools, security, uh, hardware, and connectivity. And then um, here, so this is this section is um, pretty helpful. So, you know, do you have an existing work at home policy? Um, you know, can you ensure that employees and organizations will be productive with the arrangement? And you know, what guidelines can your organization set to make sure that this is really clear? Um, you know, what's the check-in process for managers and staff? What are the technical tools that you need for some of these requirements? And is your staff really equipped to adhere to these policies? Um, so I encourage you to browse through these and see, you know, what applies to your nonprofit and, you know, create your own policies. And then here, um, this is the webinar that I was referring to that's specifically dedicated to COVID. Um, and then here we have our related blog posts. So We've been updating this, um, you know, several times a week. So I encourage you to check this page or check our blog page for new uh, new updates. And then also we have the uh, TechSoup uh, COVID-19 forum. So if you have any questions that you want to ask um, specific to your nonprofit, we want to make sure that you get your questions answered. And you know, we have a pretty active forum, so somebody uh, hopefully should answer that within a reasonable amount of time. And then also here at the bottom, this is sort of the the last thing I wanted to show you. We have um, a TechSoup course called Pivoting to Remote Work, COVID-19 Response Course Track for Nonprofits. So it's free. It's entirely dedicated to pivoting to remote work for nonprofits. And really the purpose of this course is to, you know, identify the ne necessary technology um, to get your remote office up and running in, in very little time. Um, also to boost collaboration. So how can you ensure sort of collaboration and productivity? And then also to ensure information uh, security. So um, highly encourage uh, recommending checking this out. So 
All right, so I'm going to stop sharing my screen here for a second. And let's see. Okay, can you guys see the slides again? Uh, Nicole, is everyone? Yes, yep, coming okay. in. Perfect. Awesome. Okay, so now I will move on uh, to our tour. So, um, so TechSoup's mission is really to build a dynamic bridge that enables civil society organizations and social change agents like yourself around the world to gain effective access to the resources uh, that they need to design and implement technology solutions for a more equitable planet. Um, so before I get started uh, in the actual tour, I wanted to do a quick survey. Um, so we're going to hop on over to the surveys. And I wanted to know, um, have you ever requested products or services um, from TechSoup before? So I'll give you all a second to, to answer the question. Okay, awesome. So it looks like um, we can just share the results as uh, here in a couple seconds, but it looks like a pretty good number of you, so it's showing around 73% have uh, ordered products from TechSoup before, um, and then 20, I guess it's changing as I speak, but 28% now um, haven't, so um, that's good for, for us to know. And then my second question is uh, around the product. So I'm curious to know um, from those of you who have used TechSoup before, um, you know, did you use hardware, software, or services when you use TechSoup? So I'll give you guys a few, uh, a few seconds here to answer. And uh, I just wanna make sure everyone's able to see that survey. Nicole, are you seeing it on your end? Yeah, and what you have to do, you'll see tabs at the top of your screen. You'll just have to navigate on over to surveys. Okay. All right, it looks like, um, okay, so this is kind of what we expected. So um, 80 plus have ordered software from us before and um, a smaller percentage for uh, both hardware and services. So that's really good information for me to have as we move on to the TechSoup tour. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to our slides here. Um, okay, so many of you, you know, you know us as a place to receive discounted technology, but TechSoup actually has several other offerings that may be beneficial uh, to your nonprofit. So before I get too granular here, I just wanted to kind of show you an aerial view of our offerings. So some of these offerings include tech implementation, technology services like help desk, training and courses, uh, information and resources like our blogs, webinars, um, and then also community. So we do have local meetups uh, through NetSquared. So I just kind of wanted to you know, let everyone know and make everyone aware that it's not just uh, software and hardware donations and that we actually have a lot of um, other offerings as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the tour. So I'm gonna just take a second here to share my screen again. Um, okay, let's see. Um, I'm sorry, I think it looks like I got disconnected. So give me just one second to get back uh, in. Um, okay. Okay. Are you are you still seeing the overview slide? Yes, can still see that overview slide, Seema. Okay, okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen here. Sorry about that. Just let me know when you're able to see it. Will do. Okay. 
Okay, is everybody able to see? Um, yeah, should be seeing yeah, this thing in for me. Org. Okay, okay, awesome. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with our tour today. So here on the top right, um, we have all of our tabs, uh, the login and the join. So. For those of you who are current members, you would just go to the login here. Um, for new members, you would go to join. We also have this carousel, so you can you notice the, the home page is changing. So um, this is usually updated on a weekly basis with new content and offerings. As you can see, many of these resources um, are relevant to COVID and remote, remote working, so it's kind of relevant to what's happening uh, real time. So I, I, you know, when you come back, just kind of click through these and, and see what's available. Um, we also here highlight some of the amazing work that our nonprofits are out there doing and the technology that they're using to make their mission um, possible. And then if you scroll down here, you'll see our tech marketplace, and this will bring you to some of our donors and partners. So what I'm going to do is just click on Browse Catalog here. And this is where you'll go to see sort of what's, you know, what's available technology-wise. And um, here we have the section called Nonprofit Favorites. So this is, you know, some of the uh, partners that we have that we know a lot of our nonprofits use. So it's easy to find and it's directly on this page. Um, and then if you are, if you're interested in a specific um, partner, so you can go here on the top left and click on donor or company. So let's say, for example, Zoom is obviously very popular right now. So I'm just going to – sorry about that. I'm just going to scroll down and click on Zoom. And so here you're able to see um, – I'll give it a second for it to load on your end. So you should be seeing um, the Zoom discount program. And you can see what the offering is. You can see the administrative fee. So this is a one-time fee that goes to TechSoup. And then if you're curious to know what the actual fee is um, to Zoom, you can just click here and all of the details that you need. So um, here you have the description, uh, the benefits, capabilities. And then if you're interested in the details and service costs, you just click here. And here you can see what the actual cost is. Um, so I'll just go ahead and use this as an example. So here um, the discounted rate. So this offer provides access to a 50% discount on a one-year subscription at Zoom's current rate. So um, that's where you'll want to find all of the information around the product um, pricing. And then here you just click on rules, eligibility, and restrictions. So just make sure um, that your organization is eligible to receive uh, this um, discount. And that is where all of that information is. And then one other thing I just want to point out, so if you scroll to the bottom, uh, the thing about technology is, you know, we can all buy the technology, but sometimes once you get it, you don't really know how to use it. So here at the bottom we have a section that's dedicated to related content. So we're always updating our blog, um, and so any product um, that we have, we try to produce, you know, content that helps you use it better. So. Um, whatever you're interested in, just kind of scroll to the bottom and see what uh, related content is available. Um, all right. So the next thing that I'm going to show you is if you actually know, if you're not sure which company you want to, um, you know, purchase, so you can go to a section here called Category. And what you can do is, let's say if you're interested in fundraising, but you're not sure, you know, which platform you want to use, just click on um, fundraising, and then here they have these subsections. So um, let's say if I'm interested in, you know, uh, donation and grants, and I just click that, and this should reload here in a second. And so this is what's available in terms of donations and grants. So you can just kind of choose based on, um, you know, what you're interested in. And then let's see, I'm just going to go back to our homepage, and let's see. If, um, so this section is kind of a dynamic section on our website. So, you know, a lot of our nonprofits right now are interested in the cloud. So we want to make sure that we can pull all of these resources together. So you can just click on this and see cloud offers. So this goes back to that category section that I just showed you. Um, and this category is cloud computing. And again, you can choose, you know, what area you're interested in and then click on the product itself for more information. Um, okay, so I'm just going to take a quick pause. I can't see any of the questions because I'm sharing my screen, but Nicole, is, is there, are there any questions coming in that, um, if, am I going too fast or? 
Are people following? No, fine. Yeah, keep going. I'm I'm telling up these questions and we'll we'll start answering them in a bit. Okay, perfect. All right, so I'm going to keep scrolling down. Um, So one thing that, um, you know, outside of our hardware and software and, um, you know, our hardware and software offering is our services offering, and a lot of people, you know, don't really know too much about it, and this is something that we are, you know, very passionate about and excited about, and, you know, we realize it's not enough to just manage the the donation program um, for our donors. And we want to provide access, um, you know, to software, but we also want to help nonprofits to be able to use the products and give them the support um, they need, which is, you know, oftentimes very difficult for nonprofits on a tight budget. Um, so here you can see we have uh, four, you know, different programs. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this first one, and this is managed IT. So think of this as kind of an extension to your nonprofit. It's very comprehensive. It offers a complete day-to-day management of your IT systems. And you can see here, so it comes with uh, live help desk support, uh, system and backup management, Office 365 support, hardware and software upgrades, security and performance monitoring, and then ongoing technology advice and long-term planning. Um, And then if you go back, uh, let me just go backwards here. And then if you need something, you know, if you feel like that's too expensive and you want something that's more of a one-time, um, you know, if you just need a quick fix. So we have our help desk for nonprofits. And this is great because you can just, uh, you know, call us, get whatever answer you need, and it's just a one-time, you know, pricing. And you can just fill out this form here and, and you know, just get immediate help for whatever technology issue you're having. And then I'm going to go back to the home page. And... Consultant connection, so this is really just kind of a um, place if you, you know, need consultant help outside of, um, you know, the technology resources. We have a consultant directory here, so you can choose based on area um, that you need help with. So I'll just show you really quickly. So if it's, you know, data security and privacy, you can click on that, and then you can also get localized um, help if you need it and enter uh, the city that you're looking help for in um, all right, so let me go back here. Okay, let me just hit the URL again. Okay. All right, so, um, and then the last thing I want to show you here on our website, um, so we have here at the top, if you're interested in our services, um, Sorry, before I get to that, I, mean, I forgot to show you TechSoup courses. So we actually have um, a series of courses. So if you're interested in doing a deeper dive in, you know, a specific subject, so if, let's say if it's email marketing and, you know, our webinars are really helpful and they give you kind of a high-level um, plan of how to, you know, do things like email marketing or social media. But if you really want to do a deeper dive, we um, partner with experts, and these are self-paced, um, you know, courses that you can take, and they're on the 101, 201, you know, 202 level, so it just gets deeper and deeper into the subject. Um, some of them are, you know, there's a cost associated to some of them, and there's some that are available um, free of cost. So if you're interested in text of courses, I would definitely um, check that out. And then here, I'm going to show you our resources tab. So this area, our blog especially, um, we're updating this, you know, maybe two to three times a week. We have different, you know, categories. So it could be hardware, IT security, event planning, um, social media, email marketing. We have all types of content that we put out. Um, Really our goal here is to make sure that we're giving you the resources that you need to run your organizations more efficiently and, um, you know, if, if there's any stories that we can share from our um, from our nonprofits, you know, we always want to give good examples of how they're using technology to run their organizations better. Um, so that's our blog. And then, as you know, we have webinars. So if you're interested in attending any of our webinars, we do these about four to six times um, per month. And you can just come here and see the calendar of uh, events that we have available. And then articles and how-tos, these tend to be a little bit longer, a little bit more technical. Um, If there is a product that you purchased or if there's a specific area like cloud computing or technology planning, you know, there's a lot of articles here that are really helpful and and pretty detailed. Um, So I would recommend checking this out as well. All right. So I think 
is it for my screen share. So I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing and go back to the slides. And all right, I think we are ready for Nicole, who's going to talk about um, our Microsoft offering. Yes. So as you saw in our tech marketplace, one of our popular offers is the Microsoft program. And you can get your Microsoft product through TechSoup, of course, and take advantage of some really big savings. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about that and also the services and courses to make sure you're getting the most out of your Microsoft products. So first, there are two ways to get Microsoft Cloud products. The first is self-service option. This is for you, if you already know what, ki what type of product or license that you want, um, maybe you've done that research or you've talked to someone already and you just want the most kind of direct way to um, order that. So you can do that self-service option and we're going to include the link in the audience chat um, for where you can find that. And then the second way is a free consultation with our cloud consultation team to help you select the right licenses because there are lots of different options and we want to make sure that you're making the right decision about features and subscription levels for your nonprofit. So essentially, we can do the heavy lifting of ordering and implementing your Microsoft Cloud product, and this includes advanced user and security tips and ongoing training as well. And one example of um, license type, it's one of our newest and latest offers for Microsoft 365, which includes Windows 10, Office 365, Enterprise Mobility and Security, and you can get going with this um, with 10 free licenses. So we're going to send that link over to you for where you can learn more about that. And I also saw that there was a question related to this about how to find out what is the best license for you. So yes, signing up for a free consultation is the best way to get one-on-one -on -one support to find out what is going to be the best for you and your organization. We have lots of different services as Seema has mentioned um, to help you access and unlock all, all types of technology that you're using. Um, and specifically for, for Microsoft, uh, we have support services. So we provide a variety of service support. For starters, there's TechSoup Services Expert um, Email Migration Team, which can help you implement and optimize Outlook throughout your whole organization. There's also our data migration service, which transfers your documents and data from either an on-premise or cloud data center to the Microsoft Cloud. And we also offer a cloud support service that provides ongoing IT advice and guidance for Office 365 administrators. So you can check out all of our Office 365 services on our information page for more details. And we're going to shoot that over to you in the chat and also um, in our post-event email as well. All right, and to back you up and make sure that you're supported, and again, you're making the most out of your Microsoft products, uh, we have courses specifically designed called the Digital Skills Center. And here you can find a range of both paid and free learning tracks. And it includes really great courses in all the classics, like Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. But you can also do deep dives into tools like Teams and Power BI. So these are expert-led courses, and they can help increase competency in all these tools for learners at any level. So we're going to send that link over to you as well, where you can learn more. And a really great place to start uh, within the Digital Skills Center is our Office 365 Bootcamp for Nonprofits. And this track is going to help you efficiently and effectively use uh, Office 365. If you're a new user, it's going to provide you with the skills and framework for use of packages within Office, Office 365. But if you've used it before, then you'll be able to draw on some tips in that course and um, also get to be part of the um, Ask the Expert session. So we offer training for Teams, Excel, Power BI, PowerPoint, and more. Um, within these Ask the Experts. So we have one coming up on SharePoint, the live event on April 23rd at 12 p.m. Pacific time. So we'll send over information about that as well. And you know, new courses are being added to the center on a regular basis. So be on the lookout for new offerings not covered here. And just a note to you that digital skill course, courses are suitable for both on-prem and cloud products. 
All right. So I see a lot of great questions coming in. I think I might just, if, unless please pause me if there are any questions that would be helpful to answer now. If not, I can power through our resources. And of course, as I mentioned, we've got time at the end. Um, we've got time at the end to answer all your questions. Yeah, I think we're pretty close to the Q&A. Yeah, we're, we're close to the Q&A, so if you want to just power through and then we'll, we'll get these questions answered. Sounds good. So related links, we've got lots of them here to direct you straight to any of the things that you've heard today um, from our website, webinars, product donations, um, consultation connection, which we, uh, there, there's a lot more information, information there in addition to cloud services online courses, blog, and much more. So we'll make sure this is available to you. We're going to be sending out the slides uh, in our post-event email. And yeah, you'll have direct access to all this information and more. And I'll hand it off to you, Seema, to, to wrap us up and get us into Q&A. All right. Thank you, Nicole. OK, so um, we are going to move into Q&A now. So I see there's already a lot of questions that are coming in, which is great. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and ask our first question. Um, and we have Bailey and Shruti on the line who are going to help us um, tackle some of these questions. So um, Bailey, if you don't mind, there's been a couple questions about the registration uh, process. Um, for those who aren't qualified yet. So if you don't mind just taking a second to kind of talk through that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so 501c3 nonprofits or public libraries are um, eligible to request various products from our catalog. Um, so what you'll need to do is go ahead and select join that you'll find in the upper right hand corner on our site. Um, and then you'll start filling out information about yourself and your organization. So it's a two-part kind of thing. Um, you'll need to set up your own member profile as well as your organization's profile. So the information that you'll need throughout this process is um, some information about yourself, your organization's EIN, or if you're a public library, your FCCS ID. Um, and then from there, we'll um, be asking questions just kind of about your role as the organization and also what kind of work your organization does. Um, at that point, you will be in a queue for our customer service team to go through and check all the information to make sure you know, that you are valid to act on behalf of this organization. Um, we'll also look to make sure that your tax exempt status um, is in good standing with the IRS, and we'll look to see the information you provided about what your organization does to make sure that we're best categorizing that work. So that's an overview of the registration and qualification process. Awesome, thank you. Um, okay, let's see. So for our next question, Truthy, this is um, Office uh, 365 related. And um, I think somebody just kind of was curious about the price comparison um, for Office 365 through TechSoup um, or, or through Microsoft. So if you don't mind just kind of touching upon, upon that. Sure. Um, one thing I would just state in terms of pricing and understanding where you're currently getting licensed from for Microsoft and not, you can always feel free to reach out to us um, through a cloud consult and we're happy to walk through licensing options that we have at TechSoup and um, understand um, some of the other options that are available. Typically the pricing that we offer for um, the cloud licenses matches what Microsoft will offer directly as well. Um, we're basically just trying to make sure that you guys have access to things. We can make it easier, but we do provide a lot of um, support and help through the process because we know it's not necessarily a seamless process to go get registered, get your tenant set up, and all of those things that are kind of necessary to take advantage of some of um, the offers that Microsoft has available. But if there are specific questions on your particular licenses or your particular payments that you guys are making right now, I would definitely um, recommend reaching out for a cloud consultation and we can really help work through um, any of the specific questions you might have. Perfect. Okay. Um, so the next question that we have here is um, about Boost. So TechSoup has um, it's a membership-based um, offering. And Bailey, if you don't mind, uh, just kind of talking through what Boost is and and what it provides. Yeah. So Boost is a TechSoup membership program. 
um, that you can request. And within the booth catalog, there are more exclusive products um, and further savings within that um, catalog that aren't going to be um, available to uh, other TechSoup members. You have to be a Boost member in order to access them. So for example, you may go into the Boost catalog and see that there is an Asana um, access to discounted rates product at a different price than in the main catalog. Um, so you would first need to request Boost and then you could access uh, some of the other products within that exclusive Boost catalog. So I hope that helps everyone. Perfect, thank you. Um, so our next question, um, I, and I know I kind of touched upon it very quickly in the tour, but Bailey, again, if you don't mind sort of talking through some of the, the hardware offerings and um, you know, just sort of what type of hardware offerings we, we typically have. So we have a variety of different types of hardware programs. So the first one is going to be our refurbished hardware. Um, so there you might be able to see um, other hardware such as Apple. I know that there's a question that came up about a partnership with Apple. We don't at this time, um, but we're always looking to expand and kind of grow those relationships. But uh, within the refurbished hardware catalog, you may find some of those other brands that we don't have exclusive offers through. Um, additionally, we have some affiliate hardware programs, uh, for example, Dell, Lenovo, HP. Uh, so from there, you can access the affiliate program through TechSoup and order uh, brand new hardware through those providers. Um, also, we have some standalone kind of uh, programs um, where you may be able to get some projectors um, or some uh, tablets or something like that. Uh, so I would just encourage everyone to look through um, the catalog and kind of see those different types of hardware uh, flavors that we have available. All right. Okay. And then we have another question around um, Apple and iOS. And so one of the questions is, do you also support iOS products? Um, so Shruti, if you want to take that one. Sure. Um, many of our products are available for um, iOS installations. Um, it's really dependent on the specific product. So um, particularly most of the Microsoft products um, have a component or a download option for leveraging on iOS software. Um, so it's really based off of uh, particularly the product solution that you're looking for, but you can always see that within um, the product page itself. There will be a section there that talks about um, the rules, eligibility, and requirements. And in the system requirements, you'll be able to see what um, solutions you would be able to leverage the product with. Perfect. Thank you. Um, OK. So our next question is, uh, do you offer support for a new on-site server um, if we do not want to go to the cloud? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give that one to Bailey. I think you should know the answer to that one, but I'm not, I'm not sure. If not, we can follow up um, with the person who asked Actually, this I was question. just about to answer this. I was just about to answer this question as well. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so um, we, we um, do offer some services to help um, support um, on-premise servers. Um, so uh, I would recommend either our help desk services, if it's something um, that's requiring um, a one-time issue or an installation type support, or our managed IT services if it's looking for a longer term um, kind of ongoing management. So um, I've actually provided those links to you. So you know, um, I would say feel free to look at those and um, make any requests or uh, questions. Reach out to us if you have any specific questions on the server that you're looking for support on. All right. Um, our next question here, um, and I think Bailey, you know the answer to this one. Uh, which countries do you currently operate in Africa? So overall, uh, we have TechSoup presence in all countries and territories that we're legally able to operate um, through the U.S. So only embargoed countries such as like Cuba, we wouldn't be able to provide service for. Um, but everywhere else, and so all the countries within Africa should be covered under those terms. Okay. Um, let's see. Our next question, do you provide any programs for organizations in the pre-501c3 phase? We are recently incorporated organization and we're still in the process of organizing. So I think um, Bailey or Shruti, I think either of you can probably take that one. Um, yeah, I can go ahead and tackle that. So in terms of 
program and products in the pre-501c3 phase. Um, unfortunately, we do need that formal determination from the IRS to allow product distribution. Um, however, a lot of our content and educational materials are still open for you to go ahead and take advantage of. Um, and Shruti, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I also believe that all of our courses are open to um, uh, anybody at all. You don't have to have a 501 c 3 kind of status in order to take advantage of those services. Correct. Yeah, and I think that's also um, the case for some of the services as well. All right, and we got another question here. Um, are there limitations on products for religious nonprofit organizations? Um, so each corporate partner, each vendor that we work with is going to have their own eligibility uh, criteria. Um, so it will clearly state in those um, kind of eligibility restrictions if the program is open to religious uh, organizations or not. Um, a lot of our programs are open to religious uh, activity codes or uh, nonprofits. Um, for example, Microsoft, Intuit, um, a lot of those programs are open to religious organizations. So I would just encourage everyone to read the eligibility restrictions uh, and just kind of double check and confirm. All right. Uh, we have another question here. So, how are the consultants in your consultant directory vetted? And, Truthy, I think you can take that one. Absolutely. Um, so our consultants in the consultant um, directory are really vetted in a few different ways. One is that we ensure that they've all had experience, obviously, um, operating in the um, area of consultation that they're specializing in. But the biggest one is that we make sure that they actually have nonprofit experience as well, and that they have um, really worked with nonprofits, understand the landscape of nonprofits before, and can speak to nonprofits and um, in a way that makes sense and in a way that um, shows that they have commitment to the sector. All right. Okay, so I think that covers our, our Q&A portion. So I'm going to go ahead. I want to make sure um, everyone uh, ends on time. So thank you, uh, Shruti and Bailey, for jumping in and helping us with those, uh, those detailed questions. So um, before we go, we really would love to hear one thing that you learned in today's webinar. It's always really fun for us to see um, if uh, you know, anything we presented was, was useful to you. Um, we also have our post-event survey. So any feedback that you have for us really helps. We always look at that. And um, you know, as I said, I'm the senior manager of content, and I always look at that information to dictate future content. So if you can take a few minutes um, just to fill that out, it's always really, really helpful uh, to us. Uh, we're also on social media, so if you're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, feel free to give us a follow. We're posting there um, you know, daily, if not several times per day, with you know, new content that we're producing. And we also have our blog, which I showed you earlier, which is blog.techsoup.org. And um, again, we're posting there two to three times a week with new content. We have a few webinars that are coming up in April, so if you're interested, you can just go to our webinars page to register, and you can see the lineup here. I think somebody um, was curious to know if we're having a QuickBooks webinar in April, so we actually are, and we're having uh, two of them on April 15th and April 16th. So if you're interested, just go to the website, and you can sign up there. And lastly, I just want to thank everyone for attending today. We had a lot of people joining us, and, and we really appreciate all the work that you guys are doing out there and, and taking the time to join us today. Um, I want to thank Nicole and Bailey and Truthy and Stephen for, um, you know, for helping out, and also to the uh, Global Meet uh, staff for helping us on the back end. Thank you, and I hope you guys all have a good day. <laughs>